Yo, what's up guys, Old School Dan here. And yes, this is my favorite hat. That is why you always see me wearing it. Now in this video, I got a pretty interesting topic. It has to do with leg development. Now how can you get a guy like Danny Padilla to look like he's six feet tall from a distance? And I, th I think he was like 5'5", five, five. but in pictures he looks like he's tall. And I've gotten the same reaction from people too. I'm like, I'm 5'8", and people think I'm like taller. Like some girls are like, oh, you know, you're cause you're tall. And I'm like, well, 5'8 isn't really tall. 5'10", 5'11 is pretty tall for me. I, I'm assuming that's pretty tall. Six feet is huge. But how is it that Danny Padilla is able to look like he's six feet in pictures, but in person he's 5'5"? Five, five? It has to do with his leg development. Now, Vince Gerano, this is a tip I picked up from him. He was training this girl named something Baxter, Kate Baxter on YouTube. And he was demonstrating the sissy squat. And he was like, you see the leg development in this area, he was pointing at her leg. And he's like, this will actually make you look taller. And the big part of getting a classic physique has to do with symmetry and the illusion. So if you're interested in getting the classic physique, here is a leg development tip that you must do if you wanna get classic looking legs and actually get the illusion of looking taller. But first, the intro. All right, so if you're interested in building classic looking legs and building the illusion, here's one thing you have to focus on when training your legs. It is the lower thigh. Now, somebody who had really good lower thigh development was Steve Reeves. Early on, he recognized the beauty of the lower thigh development. Now, according to Larry Scott, this area is apparently pretty hard to develop. But if you're able to develop it correctly and superbly, Larry Scott said it's the most beautiful muscle on the human body. Now, there's a couple of different ways to develop this area, but here's what can happen if you don't develop the area at all. You will get what Vince Strana calls turnip thighs. So you're probably wondering, what are turnip thighs? Turnip thighs are thighs that have too much upper leg development. Vince Strana said this comes from doing too much squats. Larry Scott also said, if you don't develop this area, the lower thigh, you're just gonna have a blob of muscle just hanging there. And this also fucks up your symmetry and just makes you look kind of like just an average bodybuilder. But if you want champion legs like Steve Reeves, here's what you need to do. Hack squats. You have to do hack squats. There's a reason why I tell you not to squat and shit like that. Guys like Steve Reeves did not squat. I don't know if Larry Scott squatted, but I know I've seen him doing a lot of hack squats. Vince, there's a reason why Vince talked about doing hack squats because it builds the lower part of the leg, the most impressive part, and actually the most hardest part to build too. Now, am I totally against squats? No, Vince Gerardo wasn't. He wasn't totally against squats too. He was just not in favor of doing heavy ass squats and heavy like deep squats because that makes the buttocks and the waist and the hips bigger too. I'm more in favor of doing like squats like once in a while just to keep the mass in my legs. Vince Gerardo is more in favor of doing squats with the feet forward so you actually hit the quads instead of just like the ass and shit like that. Now, if you want classic looking legs, develop the lower part of the thigh. Pretty good too, superbly. Well, how do you do it? Hack squats, how many reps? Use the Tom Platts, what, this is what I call the Tom Platts principle. Never go beneath 12, 15 reps. So let me say that again. Never go beneath 15 reps. Now Tom Platts was a big fan of using high reps. This guy would squat for 10 minutes of 220, with using 225. And he would go up to like, from like 20 reps to 50 reps. I think I've even heard of him doing like 100 reps too. So this is something you need to develop if you want classic looking legs. You want to build the illusion like Steve Reeves. So here's what I want you to do right now. Hit the like button if you thought this video was insightful. And subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. Thanks for watching. This is Old School Dan checking out. Peace.